it just fascinates me that this at some point in its life was six hundred dollars this thing is awful so the cyber power pre-built i'm gonna be honest with you what a disappointment what a disappointment this computer is now all I've done is I put a slightly better CPU in it than it had when it was purchased for $600. $600 is what this thing cost. That is absurd. That is absurd. This is the graphics card. This is the graphics card that is in a $600 pre-built computer. What? What? And, and this thing is ancient old. So wh what? Now, some pros, it did have a one terabyte, 3.5 inch drive. That's nice. Cons, everything else. Everything else is a con here, okay? So I went ahead and I put a 8000 series FX processor, which is a decent processor. I picked one up, used, I tested it, it works great. And then I put uh, an RX 580 in it because this is not going to do anything for us. But in this video, what we are going to do is we're going to plug this right back in and we are going to test just two games because I want to see if this thing can even run two of the more simple games to play, uh, which are CSGO and Valorant. I'm going to put CSGO and Valorant on the computer and we're going to plug this in and we're going to see if it will actually play. So I'm currently downloading the drivers for this ancient relic of a graphics card. The last drivers to come out for this graphics card were 2017. So I'm not so sure we're gonna be able to do anything with this graphics card, but we're gonna try it regardless. The only thing in this system that's different than what it was when it was purchased brand new is a slightly better CPU than what was originally in here. It is an FX processor, it's older processor, but FX processor, you really can't write them out. They can still be worthwhile. Uh, you just have to make sure that you overclock it a little bit and make sure you get the right one. Um, and you pair it with a good graphics card, obviously. But the other difference is I put a uh, 120 gig SSD for the operating system, but that's not really gonna affect uh, graphics and everything. That's just gonna improve the overall speed of the computer. Uh, with the graphics card that I put in there, the RX 580, uh, the computer seemed to be working just fine. So um, we're gonna have to see how this new graphics card works out with it. So let's see if this GT610 can handle CSGO. performance what what absolute beast mode performance that was oh we're not even trying valorant <laughs> that was so bad that was so bad <laughs> i just imagine the kid going to walmart spending his 600 dollars that he's earned his hard-earned money that he did from chores or having a job or whatever it is he saved 600 dollars went to walmart said i'm buying a computer hooray and then got home and tried to do anything on it and that's the performance you get from it that's that's awful all right well regardless i went ahead and i put the the rx 580 in there let's see if csgo runs any better
<laughs> so the RX 580 did a much better job of getting us a good picture in CSGO. Now, it was a little choppy, so I I'm interested to see how it does in the next three games. Uh, let's go ahead and let's run the benchmark for Modern Warfare 2 and see what kind of results we'll actually get from this card. So will this computer play Modern Warfare? Yeah, it'll play it. Does it play it well? No, not at all. Was the experience all right? I mean, if I didn't have any other way to play Modern Warfare and that was the game that I just had to play, then okay. I'm sure that I could have tweaked the settings a little bit more to make the experience a little bit better. Uh, but it, honestly, it wasn't the most enjoyable experience. So would I suggest buying this graphics card? Probably if it had a better CPU and a more current computer. Uh, I think that you could probably get better performance out of it. It just could not hang with, uh, with Modern Warfare. It's just not going to do it. <clears throat> Plus, this CPU cooler is allowing the CPU to get pretty, pretty hot. Uh, this is not an efficient CPU cooler. If you looked at the breakdown of this computer, the the plate on the CPU cooler doesn't even fit the entire CPU. So don't buy this, this CPU cooler. I mean, it is super old and it, you don't need to use that. There are cheap alternatives. I, I have plenty if you want to see one. I, I, hold, give me a second. I'll show you one. A CPU cooler like this. This was $19. $19 for the CPU cooler. And then this strange looking one I got for $8 on sale, right? $8, right? So I went ahead and bought them just so I can have them. Now, this one was $8 because it's absolutely not functional. There, there's, you couldn't put RAM in your, in any system if you decided to put this CPU cooler in, in your process or inside your computer. But if you got rid of that front fan, it would fit. So I bought it because it's something to have versus having nothing. So I went ahead and got it. But get something like that. These are going to be a much better bang for your buck than, than this tired, really old CPU cooler. But now that we've gone ahead and I've shown you a couple different options for CPU coolers, let's go ahead and let's jump into Apex Legends real quick and let's see how this one performs because I did download it, let's give it a shot. Another notch on the belt. So what are the final thoughts? The final thoughts are it's not worth the money. This computer was absolutely not worth the money. It really doesn't matter what you put into this. You're still not going to get the performance that you really want. And for the price tag, you could build something that is way better than that. Now, is, does the computer need to get thrown into the trash can? Absolutely not. I mean, the computer browses the web just fine. It watches YouTube videos just fine. It, 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 you know, you can use it for picture storage. You can use, you know, you can use it for a lot of things, but it's not gonna be a strong gaming computer. Now, side-scrolling games, sure. Arcade, you know, emulator type games, absolutely. You can play all those. Those aren't gonna hurt this computer. This computer will run those just fine, but you're not going to play the AAA title. You know, you're not playing Hogwarts Legacy on this computer. It's just not going to happen. And if you try, the experience is going to be so terrible, you're not going to want to play the game anymore. And you're going to feel like you have wasted the $60 it costs to own that game anyways. For this computer, I would just throw the original graphics card back in it and use this as a, a, a media computer. I, I watch YouTube videos on it. Could this thing be your streaming PC? 
Absolutely. You could you go, you get a capture card and you could connect it to a different computer and, and you could use this computer to run your stream. That it would work perfectly for something like that. But is it going to be your main gaming system? No, this is not what that's for. This computer is, is not going to be a strong gaming computer. Now, the RX 580, let's talk about that for a second. Do I think that that graphics card is not worth it? No, I, I don't think that that graphics card isn't worth it. I think that it needs to be paired with a stronger CPU in order to achieve a better result from, you know, those AAA titles, the Modern Warfares, you know, the Hogwarts Legacy, that type thing. Because uh, if you try to play it on this computer right now, the experience is not going to be fun and you're going to have wasted the $60 it costs to own that video game. But that is going to do it for me, guys. Remember, we are getting closer and closer and closer to giving away this computer. I cannot wait to make that video. I cannot wait to talk to somebody about them winning this computer and then shipping this thing out. Uh, it's it, it's going to be the best video I've made so far, for sure. If you have not subscribed to win this computer, please hit the card up above to make sure that you watch the video and you are entered correctly so that you have a chance to win it. And no matter where you are in the world, I hope you are having a fantastic day and I will see you in Friday's video.